Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I have a awesome idea for you right now and this is going to be a video in which I show you how to use beehives and bees as a natural turret for your base. Now the only negative thing about this design is you have to be online but what's crazy about it, you can use these things that you see up here in the air, the coin, the queen bay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make sure that she is on aggressive and she will release her little minions. Now those little minions per hit do 8 damage and they knock people off mount. So if someone's ever raiding you with a triceratops or trying to get too close to you, you can quite literally whistle these things to attack and knock them off the mount and just finish the battle. It'll be instantaneous game over for them. Now let me go ahead and show you how powerful this is. So I've set up a little bit of a, a wall if you want to call it. I'll teach you how to do this and kind of all about this stuff here. Um, but you're going to notice all my queen bees are sitting behind a wall so they can't be sniped and stuff like that. And check this out. So I'm, not, I'm only going to do it this style once. Whistle attack this target on this guy. Please. Or not. Fine. There. So, and what happens is all of these bees go off into oblivion. Yeah. And that. Oh my goodness. So loud. So, so loud. But basically, they will continue to sit there, and as long as you whistle them to attack this target, they will continue to go in waves, like you see right here, and attack these things. Now, you can do this as many times as you want. You can even sit behind your little beehive thing over here. See, I've got them all right there. Make sure you can see that target. And then, if you can see it... Okay, maybe I have to go a little higher to actually see it. There we go. Now... Any one of them that is releasing the bees will send their bees after that guy over there, and that's how this thing works. Now, if there is somebody mounted on top of it, it'll instantaneously, uh, for lack of a better word in saying this, it'll instantaneously knock them off, so your turrets will do the rest of the work. So these are meant as a support idea, this giant queen bee base defense. Um, and it's a pretty brilliant idea because you can build your normal turret wall like behind this thing, just like you see here and I can just keep going up and you get the point. But as long as you have a space set up, like you see right here, for your bees to get out, they will continue to attack this Triceratops over and over and over again. And um, you're gonna notice that I just continue to spawn more in because that's just how it works. And then it, it is the ultimate base defense because as long as you have a line of sight on this thing, it's over and that's just how it works. So let's go ahead and show you how to make this happen because it's it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna do it over here on the other side just because, well, I've already built stuff on the opposite side of this. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your base design up first, whatever sort of defense that you're looking for. It does not matter what kind. For this one, I'm just gonna put down some foundations and I'll show you why in a second here. Um, we're just going to build a small wall so you can see the picture. So we've got a four tall wall here. Um, we're going to make sure it's a little bit more defended. Put some of those guys down. Doesn't really matter a whole heck of a lot how it looks. I don't care at all, at least. And uh, we're going to put some pillars down. With this design that I have right here, you adding it part of your turret wall means that you do need to have some form of access to raising it up just a touch so your bees can escape. It's like you're like a bee a beehive harvester if you want to call it that um so you've got a little bit of a space you can see that the space is right there the bees because they fly will be able to fit through this so don't worry about them not getting through this area and then you're just gonna you know build your normal wall like you would does not matter if i do it like this or not but you get the point so let's say i put my generator in this little pocket right here please there we go so now, now that we have this up and running, you're going to have a little bit of an area, just like you see right there, for your bees to get through. You will set them on aggressive, but first off, you want to do a couple of things. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this as closer to the wall as I can. The closer to the wall you are, the further it's going to be able to aggro, so that's a good thing. Plop it down right there. Plop this one down right next to it. Now you're going to demolish to expose your queen bee. Now there's a couple of settings that are important for you. One, you want to make sure they're unaggressive, but before you do any of this, weigh them down with stone because they will chase as well. So aggressive, behavior, high targeting range, and then ignore group whistles. Behavior, aggressive, 
and then you know we're going to leave this one on non-aggressive and i'll show you what you can do with that as well <laughs> so notice how they are behind this wall they are safe i can't get to them unless i get super close so on and so forth right they are nice and tucked away that is a good thing that's what we're going for some other designs and i'll show you real quick that i've come up with is you can kind of build a super tall tower um just like this like a normal sized turret tower and what you'll do is you'll kind of have like almost a um how do i say this properly a giant fall down drop down ramp now and this just allows the bees to congregate a little bit better and that's just how it works you can also kind of use my invincible turret tower for velonosaurs and that'll work as well so notice how there's still a little bit of a gap for them to get through on this bottom side i can't get through it which is very huge but the bees will be able to get through that side so that's pretty big right there now let's go ahead and say that i'm being raided by a giant triceratops of death okay not actually the case, but you get the point. We're going to go ahead and ignore our group whistles, passive on him, and then we're going to go ahead and unclaim. I don't know if this will be in aggro range for these guys, but we'll check it out. So the bees are safely tucked away so nothing can get to them. You can see that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take our spyglass because you have to be online for this design to work. And we're going to go ahead and look at this guy, attack my target, and... Oh, I forgot to put stuff on that giant queen bee. Oh well. And we're gonna, just going to continue to look at them. So, you get the point. So basically, as long as there is some form of line of sight, it looks like the bees will go after the triceratops. And that is pretty big time, because that's just something that's really important to have. Um, as long as those bees are stinging this target, that means that you are quite literally having a extra base defense that people can't be on their teams. Let's say they're trying to rush you with a Giganotosaurus or a Triceratops. They can't because this guy's just going to sit there and uh, these bees are going to continue to knock it off the target. Now you're going to have to test a little bit where your bees can and can not attack from. This is actually quite fortunate that my queen bee can sit in there uh, and be just existing. I'm going to go ahead and make some shocking trank darts to show you why I use ramps. Now ramps actually protect your bees and everything from being shot underneath them. Um, but that is kind of why. So you'll notice that as long as these things are aggroing, they'll push down and out and they'll go after this triceratops. Now if you can get a really good wall working um, in a good zone where there's a direct line of sight, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how overpowering it can be because you can get like six, seven, eight. Look at this swarm. Boom. Now, this can also be used as a raiding attack method because if somebody's got a wall and they have to push out on you, you could, this is just an example, obviously. I could quite literally set up some sort of raid box right over here with my counter bees. <laughs> this sounds so weird at this point, but using bees i think is going to be something that once people actually figure it out and i'm sure they will uh is going to be really overpowering just because that's you know that's what what's what happens with bees they become overpowering um you want to build some sort of defensive box for them like this and uh whistle passive no okay so unfortunately my bees decided to attack so there's my queen bee going on a little adventure demolish okay so now we're going to put some stone on her and if you're around the corner attacking this base right here behavior aggressive high she will continue to release bees and um because she is close enough you'll notice that there's the army look at that thing and then basically while they're attacking you with bees look at this look how much damage they're doing that's just insane. That is a crazy, crazy amount of damage. And your bees are just going to continue to do that. Now, not only is this doing like the knockoff damage, but you'll get a little bit of an indicator slowing the tame down. So in general, if your bees are hitting these things, it's pretty much over. And if you got six or seven bees, like you can see that I have right here, and you're just sitting safely behind your wall, your bees are going to do all the work. Yes, they can be bit. Yes, they can be attacked. However, somebody's going to have to put that extra thought process into attacking these things. And that is something that is just not worth time. You want to... Raids 
the more difficult you make it on somebody, the less they're going to want to rage you. So let's go ahead and show you how much damage this thing has taken. So 9586, 9588. Eight. So in the time that we just did that, it took 25,000 damage. So these bees can be used very effectively in order to attack things. And I'll just whistle them aggressive right now just because why not. And you can use them as aggressive on you know, a defensive side or an offensive side. Queen bees in general are really nice because they knock people off mounts no matter what it is. So I hope you guys start using this tactic and I'm sure there'll be some other cool designs that come out with this, but I kind of just wanted to share it with you because a couple of people have been asking me to show. I know I've, I've meant to do stuff like this for a while to have some of these unique designs for things that aren't normally considered useful, but it's something that takes some time to develop. So hopefully you enjoy this and other than that, teach out.